Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today I have some great news for all those who are waiting for the Acler Activation Lock Bypass of MEID device with network working, SIM working, in short everything will work with this method and all the process will done on your Windows machine. And recently on my channel I have posted some videos on the MEID bypass tool that is the checkmate or iremove tools or mini MEID but all those tools required a Mac operating system or a Hackintosh but many users don't have Mac or a Hackintosh because some PCs doesn't support the Hackintosh as well so that's why I came up with this video and method so it will be easy for all of you guys to do all the stuff on your Windows machine and it will work for all the PCs we will jailbreak on our Windows machine and for the compatibility all the devices that support the check range jailbreak and have the MEID devices you can use this method and easily run the same on it iPhone 5s to iPhone X are supported and other iPad models that are supported with the check range jailbreak you can easily do with this method so let me just go to my computer screen and show you the complete process now the first step you have to go to the three tools and flash your device completely this is because if you use any free bypass tool previously it will create an issue with the new tool so it, i recommend you to flash your device completely with a quick flash mode and then you can proceed further Now we are done with the flashing part, the next thing you have to jailbreak your device with the checkrain. So I have already made the checkrain jailbreak windows method so you can download the ISO file from the description blog link. But before jailbreak you have to keep some points in your mind. If you are on iOS 12 to the 12.5.2 you need to jailbreak with the 0.10.2 and if you are on iOS 13 to the 13.7 or 14 to the 14.4.2 you need to use the latest version currently that is the 0.12.2. I have all the ISO file links in the description so you can watch that video or you can download the ISO file directly. So this will be very easy for all the Windows user. You can easily install and different kind of version like 0 0.10.2, 0 0.12.1, 0 0.12.2 that is latest. So I'm using the latest one. So first you need to extract that. Now you will get the ISO file for the Windows. You will need the Rufus tool to make the USB bootable. You also need a USB flash drive. So just insert the USB flash drive and import the ISO file. Now simply click on start it will flash your device and it will make the USB bootable. If you are on the GPT drive you can select the partition scheme as the GPT or it will by default it will work for the MBR so both will work on the old PC and the new PC so you can easily install it and run the checkrain on your Windows machine. Now after the reboot you need to go to your BIOS settings or a boot manager settings and you need to select your pen drive and you can directly boot it from and then you will see the boot logo and the checkrain 0.12.2. Now wait for the 5 seconds it will automatically load the checkrain. Now the latest checkrain 0.12.2 is here now you need to connect your device. So I have an iPhone 6s and it's a MEID device so first I will connect it. It's running on the latest 14.4.2. So you can just select the first option that is the allow untested iOS option and for the 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you need to use the 0.12.1 check green version and then allow the skip A11 PPR check and then it will work for the A11 devices. Still if you face any issues with the check green jailbreak windows method you can ping me or you can watch the dedicated video in that I have explained each and every step in the detail so it will surely help. Now the jailbreak process is done, just simply quit the checkrain app and on the terminal you have to type the reboot command and hit on enter and then unplug your USB stick and then you will directly redirect to your windows machine. Now we are done with the jailbreak part, now we need to install the virtual machine on your system to run the Mac operating system purely on your windows machine. So for that I am using the VMware. So with the VMware you will require some files like unlock tools and VMware tools. All these files links are in description blog link. So you will find all these there and you can easily download it from that. So basically we will install the virtual machine VMware environment and run the Mac operating system on it on your Windows machine. So there will be no issue in that it will work on all the PCs. If you have a less requirement it will work also. So I will show you how you can do that. So all these links are in description you need to download all these files. Now after that first you need to extract it. Now for the password you need to type 123 for the VMware. Just simply extract it and you need to use the same exactly version other latest version will not work so you can use the 15.5 or lower version so you can download the same version and then you can proceed. Now just click on the license button you need to enter the key 
So just go to the keys folder and open the text file and copy one of the keys and paste it in their tool and just click on finish and it will work. Now just reboot your system so that everything will take effect and it will work fine. Now you will get the icon on the desktop so just open the VMware. Now just click on the create a virtual machine. Now click on next. Now the main part when you choose the operating system you won't see the Mac operating system in the list. You can see other operating system like Linux and Windows but you will not see the Mac. So for that you need to patch the VMware. So for that I will give you the unlock tool so you can use that and it will create the patch for the VMware. And then you can easily install the Mac operating system and then it will show in the tools also. Now just open the patch. Now you will get the CMD install file. You have to run that as a run as administrator and then it will install so make sure that you will connect to the internet while installing because it required some files to download so you will connect to the internet and then it will install Now after the complete process it will close the CMD automatically so now you need to run the VMware workstation again and this time you will find the Mac operating system icon and the details on the VMware. So let me just create the virtual machine again. Now you will see the Mac operating system icon here. Previously it's not showing but after the patching and unlocking tool it will show and you will see the different version of Mac. Now we are set. Now we will install the virtual machine to run the Mac on your windows. Now to run the Mac you will get some files so you need to download this. So currently I have two versions that is the Mac OS High Sierra that is 10.13 and the Mac OS Mojave that is 10.14. These two files have the VMDK file that is the virtual machine file you can directly run without installing any operating system. So it will be very easy to run the Mac directly otherwise you can use the ISO file that is currently available on the internet to directly install the Mac operating system on your virtual hard drive. So you can also install the ISO file from that so that will work. So I'm using the macOS high Sierra this time. So you can install the Mojave also so as per your system requirement both files are working. So if you want to install the Catalina you can also that. So I will give all the links in the description of these files so you can directly download and install any operating system you want. So first you need to extract it then you will get the VMDK file. The same process for the Mojave also so you can same apply it both are working method so I'm showing you the high Sierra method so you can install the same process for both these files. Now we have extracted the file so you can see we have got the VMDK file. Now the next thing you have to create the virtual machine. So create a virtual machine just open the VMware tool again and click on next. Now click on the install operating system later. Now you select the Mac operating system from the list. Now from here you have to select the Mac version. So I am using the High Sierra that is 10.13. So if you are using Mojave or Catalina you can select according to that. So process is same. So I'm selecting the 10.13. Now click on next. Now you need to give a name. So you can give any name you want or it will set by the default. Now you need to select the location where you want to save the virtual machine. So you can save anywhere you want where I have the disk space. Now you need to select the some disk space. So I will recommend you to save the 40 or above. So I'm selecting the 60. So you can select according to that. So all this configuration depend on your system. So if you have a more space, if you want to give more space to macOS, so you can give that. So now the virtual machine is created. Now you need to do some settings. Now these are all the important settings you have to do. Otherwise this method will not work. First you need to allot the RAM to your virtual machine. So you have to give according to your PC. I'm having the 8 GB of RAM. So I'm giving the half that is the 4 GB. So if you have a more RAM, you can give the half of it. Don't give the full RAM otherwise your system gets slow. Now you need to select the cores and the processor you want to allot to your virtual machine. So all these settings depends on your computer hardware, how it is fast and strong. 
so in your case it might be low or high so use according to that now select the hard disk option and click on the remove now you need to add the one hard disk more so select that and click on hard disk click on next now click on next now use the existing disk and you have to import that vmdk file you have just downloaded before so it will just directly run that vmdk file and run the mac so no need to install from the iso file or do some installation process it will save your time it will directly run that vmdk file and run the mac operating system virtually so it will be more easy rather than installing the whole mac operating system in the virtual drive now one more important settings you have to do for the usb connection so go to that and select the 2.0 rather than 3.0 you can select the 2.0 or 1.0 both will work so i recommend you to select the 2.0 otherwise your usb connection will not work and when you connect your iphone to the mac it will not detect so you have to select the 2.0 rather than 3.0 now just start the virtual machine and you will see apple logo and the loading bar so wait for it to get complete it will take around to 5 to 10 seconds or depend on your computer speed now first you will see welcome screen so select your country and click on the continue now after that select your keyboard layout and click on continue and do not transfer and set up your mac operating system normally Now from here you can create your account so give your full name and the account and the password so you can fill all the details then you can click on continue. Now we have successfully installed the Mac operating system High Sierra 10.13 on my Windows machine using the VMware. Now the next thing you have to install the VMware tools this is because it will give you more good and smooth experience to run the Mac on your Windows operating system. Now as you can see on the both screens you will see the black lining on the both side because it will not give you the full resolution. So after installing this you will get the full screen resolution and it will give you more good and smooth experience to run the Mac. So just simply install it after that you will pop up this warning for that you have to go to the security and you have to allow the VMware tools and then just save it and it will work smoothly after that simply install it now once it's installed click on the restart button and it will restart your system automatically after that run the mac again and this time you will see the full resolution and more smooth experience on your mac so that's why i have told you to install the vmware tools now everything is set now let's move further to the bypass now for this process i'm using the checkmate tool so you can use the checkmate tool or the i remove tool both are working good on this method and you can also apply the coupon codes to get the more discount the coupon code is just to take i'm also displaying on the screen so you can visit that website and check all the price list and the other details official tool link on the website so you can directly download it or i will give the links in the description of this website so you need to click on the download software and then download will be started now once it's done just go to the downloads or directly click on that and it will start installing the software now the first time if you install you will get the untrusted developer warning or other security issues so for that you need to go to the settings then you need to allow the app from the security and the privacy then the installation will be started so simply install it Now it's done just click on finish and go to your launchpad where you will find the icon of the checkmate software so click on that and it will open the checkmate tool. Now you need to connect your device so for that you need to follow some steps so first you need to connect your device after that you will prompt on your machine you will get the connect to the host or connect to the virtual machine so you need to select that and you need to select the virtual machine and click on the macOS version you have installed and then click on ok. Once you have done this you need to wait for 30 to 40 seconds to detect your device with the virtual machine. Sometimes it will take more time so it will depend on your computer screen. So if you want to confirm whether your device is connected or not so just go to that and you will get the manage option where you will find all the connected device. So you can see that your iPhone is connected with the virtual machine or not. Now you can see on the list the Apple iPhone is showing and showing connected and the tick. If it's not showing you can select from that and it will connect. After that wait for 30 to 40 seconds and then it will detect by the tool now the device is connected and you can see details on the screen so this is how you can connect your device with a virtual machine 
Many users face issue while connecting your device with the virtual machine. So now the everything is sorted because we have already set the settings previously when we have installed. So you have to select the setting that is the USB 2.0 at the time of installation. So that's why I've told you to set it to the 2.0 rather than the 3.0. If you set the 3.0, it will not work. So you have to select the 2.0 or 1.0 and then it will work. So let me just switch to the virtual machine again and show you the other process. Now let me show you how you can make the payment. First time you will connect your device after the jailbreak. It will ask you to order a license key or to purchase a license key. So for that you need to provide the name and the email ID. And also you are required a coupon code or a promo code. For that you will get the discount. So you can apply the just a tech promo code where you will find the good discount on your product. So you will get the good deal. So you can apply this code on all the products on the Checkmate website or iRemove website. So you can apply it and get some coupon code. Now as you can see I have applied the coupon code and it successfully attempt and after that you can make payment and then you can ready to use the tool. Also for your convenience I will show the coupon code on the screen so you can apply that and get some good discount. Now let's move further to the bypass process. Now everything is set, now click on start and it will start bypass your device and make sure that you are staying on the activation lock screen Wi-Fi connected during the bypass process. Now the bypass is done and you can see on the screen you will see the bypass is completed. Now you are ready to use your device. Now as you can see there is no Apple ID bound in the settings. So let me just turn on my Wi-Fi and then show you. Now you can see you can sign in in your own Apple ID. Now first let me insert the SIM and show you the calling is working perfectly. Now as you can see I'm getting the signals and the carrier name on the top. If you are not getting on the first time you can just reboot your device and then you will get. Sometime it will take time to refresh the carriers. Now as you can see I'm running the 6s and it's a MEID device. Now I have a, another iPhone let me just call it and show you the calling is perfectly working. Now you can see on the screen I'm getting on the call on my another device that means the calling is working good. So you can try this method and run the same on the MEID device. Now next let me show you the ITIL login is perfectly working so let me just enter my Apple ID. Now the ITIL login is also working so you can check all the details and the devices connected and the other information so all the iCloud services will work. So let me just turn off the device and show you it's a complete untethered method. Now after the reboot also the device is working perfect the network is also persistent so let me just call it again and confirm you that the calling is still working after the reboot. Now you can see the calling is still working so I've shown you each and everything so everything will work with this method even the FaceTime and the notification so all the iCloud related services and all your device will work normal even you can use your data connection with the device so everything is set. So that is how you can bypass the MEID device with the same end network and everything will work. So use the coupon code just to take to get the more discount. And if you like the content just hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.